good morning. Today is Sunday the 13th of September. It's two days since I did my uh, pyramid session on the canal. Legs are still feeling very tired and heavy. I'm still feeling very tired and heavy. I've had 50 hours recovery and I still feel a bit rubbish. Um, I'm just, at the moment, I'm just doing a really slow jog walk. Walk when I want, jog when I want. Uh, because my Achilles, so just down here, still really sore, a um, bit inflamed. It was worse yesterday, and I've been trying to sort of stretch it and massage it and uh, use my TEMS machine, but it's still quite bad. I wanted to kind of come out and just sort of, I did want to run, I did want to do like a long run, but uh, I just wanted to get out, I just wanted to get out and get some fresh air, but also just keep my legs moving see if maybe sort of test it see if i can sort of help loosen it out a little bit with reactive with active recovery but it, it is hurting a bit as i'm running so uh, a bit worried about that i've only got a week before the race so the 3k i've entered is next sunday but saying that my leg is really sore if it's like this i'm gonna have to pull out so i'm just gonna keep jogging and uh head back in a second and just enjoy the fresh air and peace and quiet Okay, so today it's Wednesday the 16th of September. I've got three, four days before the race, and I'm not feeling great. Yesterday I had, oh, what was that? Yesterday I had a physio session in the evening. It helped loosen me up a little bit. Uh, this morning, I'm just, I've just been recording a time lapse of the, the sun rising through the mist, through the fog. Um, and I went and did a sort of a little session in the fields and it just felt horrible. Did four sort of efforts of about a minute and I really struggled so I'm not really feeling good about that. So I've just come back, I've only got 20 minutes, less than 20 minutes before I go. So I'm going to do the first 15-20 minutes of James B's circuit session, last latest one. So uh, let's get on with it. Here we go, it's Team D Circuit, it's Monday the 14th of September. Need to cut it short there. So that's 23 of the 29 minutes. Thanks, James. Good work. Uh, hopefully next time I finish it. But I gotta go. It's late. So that's it for the day. And uh, probably the plan is to do a jog on Friday for strides, and then Sunday's a race. So hopefully I'll be okay. Let's see how it goes.
I've done some jogging and some strides and some stretching. Uh, I was just exploring all around this area. I don't really know it in terms of running, um, so I was just following all the footpaths down random little ways, jogging, walking, taking it really easy. I probably did about six or seven miles, to be honest, I feel terrible. <laughs> well, two days before this race, legs are really achy. I think the circuits I did two days ago um, probably messed me up a little bit. Uh, but my lymph nodes and things are swelling up again. My throat feels a bit sore. I'm a bit snotty, mucusy. Uh, almost like I got a cold. It's not COVID symptoms, but it's sort of like a cold. Just feel run down. When I was running, my stomach was hurting a little bit. It might be because I didn't have any breakfast and had some vitamins, so that could be it. But uh, not feeling amazing, which is a bit of a pain, really. Um, I'm starting to get a bit worried now that I'm gonna start the race on Sunday and not finish. I shouldn't say that because I'm kind of put, planting that seed in my head, but I feel like I feel like I'm kind of like that. There's a couple of things that are a bit different, uh, sort of outside of COVID, uh, apart from my fitness. So, like, actually, the first thing is you've got to print your number off, which is kind of strange. So I'm gonna have to print my race number off on a sheet of A4 paper and stick it to my vest. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do, because I haven't worn, I haven't done a race for about a year, and I haven't worn spikes for about a year, and my calves are not sore, my, my Achilles is still really sore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wear um, racing flats uh, on the track, but it's you know better to be a bit more comfortable. So see you at the race. <laughs>
hard work. Oh, it felt so hot today. I think I got to about three, sort of two and a half, three laps to go. And I just wanted to stop. I'm glad I stuck with it and finished. Just uh, didn't expect it to feel so hard. It's really strange because the gun went and at first the pace felt really easy and I thought oh, this is quite a nice pace. I went through 200 meters in about 35 which is too quick even if I was trying to go for a PB. But it didn't feel it didn't feel that fast it just felt like sort of a steady pace so that's quite strange as soon as i saw the time i just eased back a little bit went through 400 and about 38 37 38 so i sort of slowed a little bit when i ran my pb that would have been about 38 39 seconds per 200 so about 117 118 per 400 so i, I what i did is i started off a bit too fast i eased off slightly and then um, I got slightly slower and slower until the middle of the race. And I tried to pick it up a little bit towards the end when I was really struggling. Now, the last two or three laps, I was suffering with the heat. Um, it wasn't so much, it didn't feel like so much lack of fitness in some ways. Well, I mean, I felt really tired and fatigued, but the heat was just really intense. And I just wanted to stop. And, and by then I had lost track of everybody. There was a guy, a young guy I was following near the start, um, but uh, he, he ran away from me and I was on my own. I think I was second from last. And apart from another guy who I was chatting to, a guy called Wayne, um, he, uh, he's uh, sort of a marathon runner. The other guys were sort of 14, 15. I think there was a guy who was 13. So I was the old, I think I was the oldest one in the race, which is kind of strange. I got thrashed by people I'm 20 years older than, which is okay, I guess. 
I think I went through halfway in about 5.15, 5.20, something like that. And I managed to sort of keep it strong on the last two laps, pick it up when I got to the bell and finish quite strong. So I probably knocked a few seconds off there. So I, I took my watch because there's not going to be any results today. It's going to be results online later because of COVID. So according to my watch, I clocked my time as 10.35. So I'm, I'm actually quite happy with that. It's my slowest ever time for 3K, but I was aiming for about 10.50. So I was about 15 seconds quicker than that. I probably could have knocked another five seconds off maybe by pushing a little bit harder in the middle. But I didn't really know what was going to happen. I, I, my lungs were sort of tightening up a little bit. I felt quite fatigued. I wasn't sure how I was going to cope. So I just wanted to get through. I wanted to get to the end. But I'm pretty pleased with that though, considering the heat as well. So that's one race done this year. It's the only race I'm going to do, probably. Unless I get a cross country in, which seems unlikely. My last race before I turned 35. So my last race as a senior male. Probably my last race before I do my mile time trial, which will be probably in the next five to six weeks. Probably as close as I can to November. I'm aiming for around Halloween sort of time. But I think that's it for today. So I'm going to finish my cool down. So uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.